Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A roofing contractor is in hot water with the state. His registration suspended for multiple violations. The homeowner out thousands of dollars. There are a lot of questions surrounding this contractor and problem solver Susan Hogan when looking for answers. She joins us now with what she's uncovered. The homeowner thought she did everything right. She got three quotes checked to make sure the contractors were registered. In the end, she chose the cheapest quote. And tonight, state officials tell us this homeowner got exactly what she paid for. When Call 12 for Action got a call about a bad roofing job, we had to see it for ourselves. The shingles are not even overlapped. They just butted together. Vice Chairman of the Contractors Registration Board, Ed Latticer, shows us what he calls a disaster. There's no ice and water barrier. There's no felt paper. And these are wide open gaps right here. It's over two inches gap in between the boards. And then we go inside the attic with an investigator from the Contractors Registration Board and find even more problems. These shingles here were put right directly on top of these boards, which is not to code at all. When they put their nails in, the nails came right through the shingles. You can see daylight right up through. As a roofing contractor, shouldn't he know? He should know all these things before he even bids a job. Never mind apply shingles. I got a little concerned. Homeowner then, Sylvia Campos paid Alexander Perry, here, owner of I Pyramid Roofing, $4,500, half of her $9,000 contract for a new roof. She thought she got a good deal. What I got is debris in my yard, leaky roof, out $4,500. It's just, um, it's like an ill feeling. It's like... Who can you trust? Call 12 for Action contacted Alex Perry and I asked him about why he didn't know about these building codes. He told me that no one at the contractor's registration board told him about them. It wasn't his fault. When I asked him why wouldn't he know as a roofing contractor, that's when he hung up on me. He should not be in business unless he knows how to do his trade. It's Is not up to the contractor's board to teach him how to apply these shingles. The contractor's registration board fined Perry $5,000, citing him for hiring non-registered contractors and ordered him to strip and replace the roof. He says, I'm not tearing that roof off. I can't afford to do that. Crazy. This your deal. Latticer says Perry deal. took off from the job and never returned. And the Contractors Registration Board ordered an emergency suspension of Perry's registration. I did give Perry the opportunity to tell his side of the story on camera, but he ended our phone conversation abruptly without giving me an answer. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.